How's everyone doing? Yeah. All right, my name's Montavion, and I'm here with the Youth for Justice Rally. We're here for many things today, all right? Amen. I'm excited. Yeah. One reason why we're here is for the 17-year-old Trayvon Martin who was killed by George Zimmerman. We're also here for the ice holds and deportation. And ice hold is when ice hold is when the prisoners are held longer than their sentence, and ICE is called to deport them. ICE stands for Immigration Customs Enforcement. I would also like to say we are in solidarity with the prisoner with the prison hunger strikes. We're also here for the prison hunger strikes that the youth and adults have been fighting for for better education and treated in treatment since July 8, 2013. We also have um, a co-worker of mine, Alondra, who was also not eating for multiple days. You guys give it up for Alondra. Thank you. And um, that's about it. Rebecca and Precious are going to be with the open mic sign up sheet. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and pass that around. All right, the first 10 to 15 people will be going. Um, the list is three, you have three minutes for an open mic, a speech, or a poem. But after three minutes and 10 seconds, we will cut you off with respect. <laughs> to get your name on the list. All right, let's start with the chance. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, when I say youth, you say power. Youth. Power. Youth. Power. Youth. Power. Youth. Power. youth. All right, I'd like to introduce Rebecca, who will start our feature set of youth poetry. Let's go, give it up for Rebecca. Okay, how's everybody doing today? Yeah. Okay, um, my other co-workers are not here right now, but I'm gonna start it off anyway. Okay, so tired of being told what to do, tired of being told where we belong, tired of being told the jobs that we can have and the jobs that we deserve, all we want is to make a living. Nine times out of ten, the spot's reserved. For who? The white man? Who nine times out of ten, my, my life, you overran? Don't expect me to become nothing, not even a handyman or an anchorman? Hell, I'd be lucky if you let me become a serviceman. When I take a risk to step out and be something of myself, I wonder if it helps to only care about yourself. Don't think about his self or herself, but only thinks about oneself. But as I exhale, my heart dwells on giving my farewells. But since I wasn't given a chance, my heart, I let my lips yell. I love you. Run away, don't make the same mistakes that I did. To be sucked up by their smooth words and deceiving looks, cause they only take your life and see you as a crook. So I wait for another chance to be released or the racism rate to be decreased. Because regardless, I'm still a human trying to make it through. Only wish you knew, if I could see my point of view, all I ask is for once one foot in my shoe. Why do this to us, I must ask? Yeah, I will say that it's okay, but it's not right to be treated as an outcast. But I learned to walk away from a friendly face in power because I learned that it's just my enemy's mask. And at this time, I'm going to have... I listen to it because I really do care. It goes like this. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking out through the sky, through the air, thinking, feeling that something doesn't feel right. Hearing stories from other people and me making a reaction to what is happening to our country. I believe from my perspective that we should all be able to join the unit, the unity without police brutality, ice holds and racism. We were here, we were the first to come to this country. We didn't kick no pilgrims out. You guys kicked us out. How is it fair that, in, how is it fair out of justice happening in this country that there is the stories out here, out there of immigrations that come here from different countries to learn English languages, English language. As hard as it is to still, to as hard as it is and still don't get treated fair they should stop deportation stop police do stop police brutality stop everything that tries to prevent different races from uniting who wants to unite all right and now i'm gonna um, bring up my friend marquise who's gonna say his poem give it up for my friend marquise criticize and critique manipulated and disrespected it's the life I live, nobody else is tested. When all fails and nothing seems to work, I feel like I'm about to simply fucking burst. Placed in a world that is controlled by some misconception, nowadays everyone's too quick to go grab their weapon. What happened to the good life? The life with no worries. The life that I swear could have came about a story. Well, the only thing that was a problem was getting our favorite toy and getting spanked by our pops who's always yelling, come here, boy. Now we have to worry about light bills, water, and utilities, and that commissary for our father, see? The police out to get us and doing nothing and doing nothing else to help. 
When's the last time they actually seen or felt? They want to protect us, but haven't even wore our belt. Haven't tried on our shoes or even thought about our blues. In the neighborhood, trying to put my bro on the news. How I grew up is nothing compared to how it is now. It's all some falsely represented technology. How? How can you be 12 years old and like really not mature? But this social media has you talking to a Chester. The molester is his last name, B. The media is foul, how can't you see? But that's our generation and how our world is today. So you can either be accustomed to it, fight back or pray. But at the end, we'll make you a better person at the end of the day. Free hooligans, youth just speak in foolishness. Take the time to understand, take the time to listen, instead of calling the police and relying on the system. The system is up to no good. There is no justice for Trayvon or John, because all they want to do is send us to prison. And all we want to do is send the real murderers to prison. We can't even have some justice because the police don't listen. I guess we are young, wild, free hooligans. But at least I can make myself free by saying this. So for right now, open poetry, my bad. Um, how many people are on the list? Name one, name one. Dakota. Dakota, where's Dakota? Give it up for Dakota, everybody! Come on, Dakota! Dakota! All right. Three minutes, bro. Word. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? I have to say, the most dynamic and beautiful organizing that's happening across the country right now in response to this verdict has been by young people of color. Young black folks, young black and brown folks holding hands and holding it down. And so I just want to give big ups to all the organizers, to everybody that put this together, and all of y'all for being here today. Oh. Um, I want to plug into the system also, and the cord is right here somewhere. Um, oh, that's not mine. Where? So, I'm Chamoru. Uh, I'm from the Marianas Islands, which are an unincorporated territory of the United States, AKA a colony. And uh, I guess I bring that up because I just want to be clear that the the United States federal government since the beginning has been about criminalizing, murdering, and enslaving black and brown, that is indigenous people, all across the planet. And I think that all of our liberation is connected. And all of our liberation is definitely only gonna happen if we come together. So uh, that's why I, I wanted to share this piece with y'all. Is that cool? Yeah. And the piece, the piece that I wanna share, it actually requires some call and response. So I'm gonna say liberation. And then I want y'all, no, 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 no. Y'all are gonna say liberation, I'm getting confused. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, I've only done this successfully twice, but I believe in y'all and I believe in us, all right? So it's gonna go like this, it's gonna go liberation, and then I'm gonna be like, for the native people's land that we stand on. And then y'all go, liberation, for Pacific Isles from Africa to the Amazon. Liberation. For displaced daughters with visionary eyes. Liberation. For the four directions from the earth to the skies. Yeah, word, y'all got it, y'all got it. So we're gonna try it on beat and it's gonna be perfect. Is that cool? Yeah! All right. Woo! Yo. Yeah, turn it up. Uh, all right, starting over the beat again. All right, y'all ready? You're gonna say liberation when the beat drops. Is that cool? Liberation for the native people's land that we stand on. Pacific Isles from Africa to the Amazon for displaced daughters with visionary eyes. For the four directions from the earth to the skies. I am my own liberation. Say this part. Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own liberation. Yo, my own liberation is why I'm wearing my sanahi. I descend from the bloodlines of Magahagas and Magalahi. We're chiefly family. Value balance and reciprocity. The earth, the ocean, our ancestors and their prophecies. They try to sack these philosophies. We held on to them. Approach as deep as ocean waters and sailed on through. The hassle with deep finota. Zenihi temenota. Hazi imen makis. Gi izi itanota. Native language is creation of our native nation. Respect the language and culture. We welcome participation. 
the patient. Humanity's mistaken, taking the path of vacant morals. I got ample examples how the U.S. handles its morals. I pray for the coral reefs and the resolution of quarrels. And in seven generations from now, we experience tomorrow. I pray to heal the macho womb that causes the misogynist and grieve the wandering dead that's inside of all these colonists. For the native people's land that we stand on. Pacific Isles from Africa to the Amazon for displaced daughters with visionary eyes. For the four directions from the earth to the sky. Say, I am my own liberation. Come on, say it. Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own Soy de la isla, pero no soy taíno. Si sí, soy chicanao, pero no soy latino. Mi sangre es mestizo, mi madre es filipino. Mi padre es chamorro, mis abuelos campesinos. Mi destino es la lucha de pueblo. Libertad ahorita, no solo en el cielo. Quiero morir como la águila en vuelo. Enterame con los huesos de mi padre y en los suelos. Por eso, soy indígena machista. Machismo es colonialismo, pues soy feminista. Artista del barrio. Que usa el radio De luchamos por paz mundial Sin militarios Hay varias razones De tocar cajones Yo habla por mí Despierte en tus corazones Crecemos como flores En los calles de los pobres No pueden matarnos Porque somos de los bosques For the native people's land That we stand on Pacific Isles From Africa to the Amazon For displaced daughters With visionary eyes For the four directions From the earth to the sky Say I am my own liberation Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own liberation. Say, I am my own liberation. I say, we are our own liberation. Say, we are our own liberation. Say, say, we are our own liberation. Say, one more time. We are our own liberation. Come on, one time left. I wasn't planning on reading today, but I just came out. I think what everything is going on here is really cool. So this is a poem I wrote a while ago. It's called Nursery. Seal shut your eyes or plug your ears. Open your lungs to breathe out your fears because I know a blind man can't see race just as much as a deaf girl can't hear the change of tongue or the sweet mind of a little one too young to understand that he's supposed to hate this man because of a difference in flesh. But all his life he'll be told one thing until he forgets all the rest, ripped from his nursery to be placed in a world that just can't remember. It was once a blazing fire is now just an ember and I don't want to forget anymore. Never again. I want to capture this hatred with a Polaroid film. I want to paint a hundred pictures of how shitty things are because then yeah, maybe then it'll become like a scar, a reminder that things can never go back. Because I've spent all day wishing of a time where blood didn't soak the innocence of children's minds. Where I didn't have to walk down the street and hear words of ignorance pool around my feet until I was drowning in a bath of delusion. And there is no substitution for this. There is no escape. Not until I decide to transform my wishes to will. Not until there is no more hate to distill will I ever be able to say that I truly tried. And when I can stand and storm the trenches of intolerance, then I will know in the back of my mind that I have done my part. And when you ask me what I hope to see, what I really, truly hope to see, I will bust from my shackles of inconvenience and disintegrate these walls of silence to tell you from bursting syllables that I want us to be free. Free from any jurisdiction of skin, free from these qualms that bind us within, free to be a whole. Because I've been wrapped to tone illusions, or so I'm told. That this notion is unreality. That my ideas are clouded with naivety because of the age that I claim. Well, I may be a student of only 16, but these eyes work well enough to know that though we may not see the same, it's time for change. I would sooner fall defeat in a world of coagulation than prosper in a realm of segregation. Because I know what is true. A force that I will let guide me from here on after. Because this, this is our chapter. This is a new chapter. And we choose how it will be written. So let free of your past flaws and condemnation. Because the pathway to hope is our generation.
for open mic, Irene. Give it up for Irene. Hi, you guys. I just want to say you're doing a fabulous job. I'm just so proud of you all as youth uh, getting organized. Uh, just one word to say that what was done to Trayvon was a terrible injustice and what's happening in the California prisons is also a terrible injustice that people are in decades in prison in solitary confinement without window, without contact with other human beings. Let's speak out against injustice, stop it, and I just want to say that let's be positive in what we're doing. And I'm just going to say to you guys, I spent my life kind of trying to be a bit of an activist in certain ways. It's a privilege to be with you. And I want to say, I've been teaching at university for a couple decades, and I always tell my students, dream your highest dreams. You guys, dream your highest dreams. In other words, fight racism, fight injustice, love others and put yourself into it and the more you do the more it's going to make a difference the better world we'll have and we can do it thank you all right everyone let's give it up one more time for irene all right next we got our friend up here coming up his name's dante let's give it up for dante come on dante where you at how y'all doing we got a little poem for y'all, so let's just get it cracking. It's called Push. Push. Don't push me. Cause I'm close to turning palm lines to the rocky road of Knuckle Junction. Right now, my people on that steel on their waist. Robbing steel from your granny place. Keep a raise in your face. Got that fire just in case. Keeping the knife in the case. Got something silver if you want to taste. And it ain't no spoon, bro. So don't push me. Cause I'm close to showing you what the weight of this melanin plus the weight of this world plus the weight of this fierceness is by dropping waves of fists like fuck your patriarchy, fuck your isms and fuck your gentrification. It's only a matter of time before you step on the wrong toes and your bike ride through Squire Park turns into an ass whooping in the CD. So don't push him. Cause he's close to unemployment, graduation, peer pressure, drugs and violence, stereotypes, screeching symphonies in his ears like violins, walking around like a target got his back. Cause he's black, moving crack, making up for the money mom's like and he knows he's hurting his community and he wants to take it back but he has to keep the lights on so he can stay on track because he was never good at ball and he never could rap so he has to push back the way his daddy used to before ma had to pack up and leave to stay with grandma so y'all wouldn't have to get caught up so don't push her because she's close to stress depression anxiety pressure from not only being a black woman raising black children but from the media family so-called friends enemies and strangers holding fear in her knees and back that her children will end up like the sidewalk chalk angels that she used to walk streets with every day someone is gone Today's autopsy was yesterday's presence. Yesterday's presence is today's memory and grief, which is why she, he, me, we are afraid to watch the news. If we are not dying, we are doing the killing and we are tired of being told to be afraid of ourselves, our community, our food, of everyone and everything. So don't push us like the vertebrae in our spines don't spell out survival down our backs like we haven't been pushed our whole lives across countries, across oceans, through fields and homes and streets and days and nights and prisons and shelters, pushed emotionally, financially, physically spiritually our whole lives we have had to push back so push back because if you don't they will continue to push broom you like a storm of confetti corpses push back because the devil is standing on your neck and he's not even bigger than you push back like your mother push back like your grandmother push back because we have to because we can push back like this is a competition on how many mountains you can move push back for the days you cried push back for the days your ancestor died push back like the tide push because complacency ain't cute push because your birth my birth their birth our birth Earth, and this revolution starts with one. Yeah. All right, thank you, Dante. All right, you guys make some noise for our friend Cody. Let's go. Where's Cody at? I just want to talk to you about, um, well, pretty much since the beginning, um, America has been since the very beginning in the 13 colonies. They have explicitly made uh, very clear that they globally want to Americanize everything and by Americanize everything I mean they want everyone to think like white males like what I am right here This is what American dream is, is right here to look and think like me to be big important businessmen that don't have any culture outside of your own And if you try to have a culture outside of your own will come to your country and will kill you and I just want to talk to you guys about how institutionalized racism still continues all this is continued under this whole entire blanket idea that everyone's the same 
That's the number one argument everyone wants to make because they want to homogenize us all into all into one thing. And I look at this group and I don't see just one group of people. I see a, a mass, a multitude of individuals with their own individual ideals, with their own individual wants and desires. And we may be united in one struggle, but we are all individuals. And I want you to take a moment to think about where you come from, where you are, and be proud of that. Express that. Don't be afraid to express that. Be that. Don't let someone else tell you that you can't be that, that you have to be a businessman, that you have to be successful, that you have to make money, that you have to do all these things. Because indigenous people struggles all over this world outside of my own because I was given the luxury and the privilege of being born the way I was and I did not get a choice about that. But I'm here to tell you right now that I reject everything that comes from this lifestyle. I reject everything that comes from the moment I was born and I don't appreciate the fact that I was given this privilege just because of the color of my skin. I don't think it's fair that I'm allowed to commit crimes and I'm allowed to do things and I just get a slap on the wrist. And I get told, oh no, it's okay. You're just an innocent little white boy. You don't know any better. Well, I watch someone else do the same crime who just happens to be a different color of skin than mine and they get 10 years in jail for it. When I walk away, it's just crazy. And I just want to tell you guys that, we, that I'm with you and there are other people with you. And we are all in this together. And I love and appreciate all of you. And we are not the civilized ones. America is not the civilized ones. They will try to tell you that they're the civilized ones. We are not the civilized ones. We have called everyone else the savages when we ourselves are the savages and everybody else was the civilized ones. All right, let's get it for Cody one more time. All right, this is called No Justice. Trayvon Martin gets no justice after his death. Casey Anthony kills her daughter. George, Z George Zimmerman kills a teenager. Michael Vick kills a dog. Shh, almost respect. Who pay consequences? Michael Vick. Is a dog's life extremely unequal for my teenagers? This world is so racist. The black is the black and brown is never safe in this crucial world. It is not the fact of the race. It's the minors. It's that minors get killed and the killer can walk the streets. People being put down and not getting the right justice back and yeah, not getting the right justice back and being equal. Young ball to me. Young, wild, and free men, fuck that. We get killed before we're able to see. I feel the for the ones who are gone, fuck the system, they're hella wrong. Uh, my poem is titled, Immigration. This is to King County. What gives you the right to look at my papers? You make assumptions and divide my nation. What gives you the right to split us apart? Do you make more money? Do you get a better title? What if I went to your house and picked up your spouse? How would you feel if I made you kneel because of your status? What if we control your crowd when, we, when you get loud? Quit being a politician for a minute, put yourself in our shoes, look at our struggle. Maybe you'll notice that in the end, we're not that much trouble. Thank you. Oh, um, next up is Oscar. Rachel, oh, it's, oh yeah, Oscar. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, this one I'm about to read is the same thing, you know. The title is Ice. They call them Ice because their hearts are cold. Little kids cry because both of their parents got taken away back to their home place where fucked up cartel kill innocent people every day at the job getting low pay. They come to America hoping for a better life and searching for them better days. They take risks trying to make it near the Rio Grande. Men and men holding their guns because they think this is their land. What happens if the table turns around and you were the native put in the reservations? How will you feel now? Your racist comments is immigrant. My mind is deportation because I put them somewhere else. Thanks, Aaron. Um, this poem is about ice. I stand I. I don't see how you can sleep at night when children are being ripped from their beds because of their their papers and status. Those because of those ignorant bastards who are putting our loved ones away. See, can you can you comprehend the fact that youth and others are being taken for the color or taken because of the color of their skin and the suspicion of their background, not fact. But the fact is that this that they're they the, this fact is that they are cons they're they're, con they're constraining our freedom of those we, those deserve it the most. E eventually people will <laughs> Even if they aren't illegal, they still find some way to send them away for no real reason. Eventually people will rise up and show support of all races and that's now. 
Fuck Ice Holds. Next is Alondra. Hello, hello. My name is Alondra, and I'm here to speak about Ice and how it has been an injustice to our people. I'm Mexican personally, and I'm here to talk about how people get arrested from DUIs and all these small things, and then they end up getting deported back to their home country that they came from because they wanted a better opportunity for their kids and their families. They wanted to live better. There's so many people that are immigrants, not only Mexicans. There's people from China, there's people from everywhere, Africa, everywhere. You know, I'm I'm speaking for me, and you know, if you guys want to take it for yourself too, okay, go ahead, you know. And I'm speaking about how when immigration takes their parents of the little kids, they end up crying. They end up going to foster care. They get mistreated in foster care because they're the lower part too. Foster care is a good system because it keeps them out the streets, but still, it's really bad because you don't get the attention that a parent could give you. And I feel that ICE has taken away so many privileges from our own people and immigration has personally affected me because it has deported my cousins, my uncles, my aunties. All, this is, all these things have affected me because I can't have them by my side. Their kids are living with my mom or my own grandma because they don't have their mom here. They cry every day because they don't have their parents here. As long as we have a parent, we know we're gonna be loved even if everybody rejects us because our parents' love is always gonna be there. And I believe that we need our parents here and we need our children here. Even if they get a DUI or any little small thing, you know, it's like, I mean like DUI is a major thing, but still they should get a second opportunity. And right now at this very moment, they're deciding to take away that policy in that courthouse. And we believe we should make some noise right now. Come on. I believe that policy should be taken away because it's discrimination, because they say, oh, you look undocumented. So we're gonna put and call ICE and be like, oh, hello, we have an undocumented person here. Come and pick them up. And they have, end up going back to their home country that they were coming from El Salvador, from Mexico, from China, from Africa, from Iraq, from all this violence, from the hunger, from the hunger strikes they have to go on just to get peace but they still don't reach it because we need all the people united, black, Mexican, Chinese, white, everybody needs to be united to get our voices out because we're the 99% and every the 1% is always above us. They're the game that we are played with. We're the game pieces and we're playing. So, you know, it's like we need to survive together. Thank you. Thank you.